Hi, I'm Martin Gibbons and I'm the founder of People Maps and Career Psychometrics. And this is a very short video about career coaches and career coaching. And if you're thinking, if you're looking at that point where you're seriously considering your career and you're looking for more from your career, then you really should be considering using some sort of career coaching. And here's a couple of reasons why and a couple of tips as to how you pick a coach so that you find something that's actually working for you. Now, it's not by accident that the most successful people in the world generally all have a coach. It's not an accident that they get their success. You see, the thing is, when you're out working and being busy doing what you do and developing that skill, um, you don't have the time to get to understand the nitty gritty of how the career development process and the world actually works. So in order for you to focus on being brilliant at what you do, you really need to bring in other experts and specialists to help you be brilliant with those areas too. So in the same way as if your car breaks down, you don't just buy a Haynes manual and go and fix your own car these days. Those days have kind of gone past us. You now really need to bring in a specialist who has all the equipment and all the experience and all the understanding of your car and they will fix it in a matter of an hour or two where you could be sitting there and with lots of spare bits left over after a week or two. The same applies to your career development. It's not a simple thing, it's a very complex process that you're dealing with. The, the actual process itself, the players involved and of course you're dealing with the most complex thing on earth which is humans human personality, how they react, how they, what they like, what they don't like. It's a very fickle, a very unusual kind of beast. And you really need to understand that. Now, a career coach should be able to guide you through that. They should be able to guide you through the practical and the tactical things that you need to consider. They should also be able to guide you along the things about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And as I say, they should understand the landscape. And this is the big thing. The landscape, in the same way as your car has become much more complicated and complex, the recruitment landscape, the career development landscape has also become more complicated and more complex. And if you blunder into that without a knowledge of how it works, then you, you will probably get the same result you get if you suddenly fired into you under the bonnet of your car with a screwdriver and a hammer and hoped to fix it. Maybe that would have worked 20, 30 years ago. Cars were simpler those days. 20 years ago, recruitment was simpler in those days. Today, it's a complex, convoluted process, a very unusual landscape, and the landscape has changed. In the last three years, the landscape is unrecognisable. So any information, and this is, this is that's kind of covers the issues of why you should consider a coach. You want to be successful. You want somebody who's a specialist to advise you on something, let's be honest, you know little about. The second thing you really want to be thinking about is how do you pick a good coach? And that, that's a trickier one, but I'll give you a couple of quick tips, very, very surefire way of moving things. If the advice that you're hearing looks similar to what you got 10 or 20 years ago, then some alarm bells should be going off because the landscape has changed. How people go about recruiting people today is actually quite different 